Play With Me by Marie Hall Etz. Play With Me, Story and Pictures by Marie Hall Etz. The sun was up and there was dew on the grass, and I went to the meadow to play. A grasshopper sat on the leaf of a weed. He was eating it up for his breakfast. Grasshopper, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away. A frog stopped jumping and sat down by the pond. I think he was waiting to catch a mosquito. Frog, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away too. A turtle was sitting on the end of a log. He was just sitting still, getting warm in the sun. Turtle, I said, will you play with me? But before I could touch him, he plopped into the water. A chipmunk was sitting beneath the oak tree, shelling an acorn with his sharp little teeth. Chipmunk, I said, will you play with me? But when I ran near him, he ran up the tree. A blue jay came and sat down on a bough. He jabbered and scolded the way blue jays do. Blue jay, I said, will you play with me? But when I held up my hands, he flew away. A rabbit was sitting behind the oak tree. He was wiggling his nose and nibbling a flower. Rabbit, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he ran into the woods. A snake came sneaking through the grass, zigzagging and sliding the way snakes do. Snake, I said, will you play with me? But even the snake ran away down his hole. None of them, none of them would play with me. So I picked a milkweed and blew off its seeds. Then I went to the pond and sat down on a rock and watched a bug making trails on the water. And as I sat there, without making a sound, Grasshopper came back and sat down beside me. Then Frog came back and sat down in the grass, and Slowpoke Turtle crawled back to his log. And Chipmunk came and watched me and chattered, and Blue Jay came back to his bow overhead, and Rabbit came back and hopped around me, and Snake came out of his hole. And as I still sat there without making a sound so they wouldn't get scared and run away, out from the bushes where he had been hiding came a baby fawn and looked at me. I held my breath and he came nearer. He came so near I could have touched him, but I didn't move and I didn't speak and Fawn came up and licked my cheek. Oh, now I was happy, as happy could be, for all of them, all of them were playing with me.